In the previous lecture, we solved two problems based on ratio and now we are going to solve the next two problems. So moving on to our problem number three. In a bag, number of 25 Pesce coins, 20 Pesce coins and 10 Pesce coins are in the ratio 3 ratio 7 ratio 9. Together, they are worth rupees 61. Find the number of 20 Pesce coins. Now before I explain the solution of this problem, I want you to pause this video and try to find out the answer on your own. I hope you are done. Now we will move on to the solution. In the bag of money, we have 25 Pesce coins. We have 25 Pesce coins. We have 20 Pesce coins. 20 Pesce coins and we have 10 Pesce coins. Let us say that A is the number of 25 Pesce coins in the bag. B is the number of 20 Pesce coins in the bag and C is the number of 10 Pesce coins in the bag. And as per the question A ratio B ratio C is equal to 3 ratio 7 ratio 9. Now this ratio does not include the common factor and we are required to find the number of 20 Pesce coins that is we want to find out B here and uh, therefore we need to include the common factor. Let us say that the common factor is X therefore we will have A ratio B ratio C equal to 3X ratio 7X ratio 9X. Now moving on to the next piece of information we have. The bag is having the money worth rupees 61. So we will try to find out the total money in the bag from here and then we will equate it with rupees 61. If you observe you will find 3x is the number of 25 Pesce coin, 7x is the number of 20 Pesce coin and 9x is the number of 10 Pesce coin. So we can easily have the total money from this information we have. 3x we will multiply with 25 paise. So we will have 75 paise multiplied to x plus 7x when multiplied to 20 paise we will have 140 paise multiplied to x. Then 9x we will multiply to 10 paise we will have 90 paise multiplied to x and this should be equal to rupees 61. Now rupees we will convert to paise because here we have paise on the left hand side. So we know 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. So 61 rupees will be equal to 60 100 paise. We will perform the addition on the left hand side and we will have 305 paise multiplied to x equal to 6100 Pesce. Now to find out X, we will divide both the sides by 305 Pesce. We will have X equal to 6100 Pesce divided by 305 Pesce giving us X equal to 20. Now as per the question, we need to find out the number of 25 Pesce coin which is B. B is equal to 7X. So 7X will be equal to 7 multiplied to 20 giving us 140. So 20 Pesce coins are equal to 140. This is our answer. So I hope the solution is clear to you. Now we will move on to our problem number 4. According to the problem number 4, the ratio of the ages of a man and his wife is 6 is to 5. After 16 years, the ratio becomes 10 is to 9 find the husband's age when the wife was born. So let us move on to the solution of this problem now. Let's say that the present age of men is represented by M and the present age of wife is represented by W and according to the problem the ratio of their present ages is equal to 6 is to 5 and here the common factor is not included. Let's say the common factor is X so we will have the ratio of present age of men and his wife equal to 6x ratio 5x. Now, after 16 years, the ratio becomes 10 is to 9. So we will add 16 to 6x, the present age of men, and 16 to 5x, the present age of wife. 
so we will add 16 to 6x and we will add 16 to 5x and this time the ratio will be equal to 10 is to 9 now from here we can have the common factor x and for that we will write down the ratio in the other form performing the cross multiplication you will have 54x plus 144 equal to 50x plus 160 now we will subtract 50x on both the sides and we will subtract 144 on both the sides this will give us 4x on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have 16 dividing both the sides by 4 we will have x equal to 4 so we have the common factor and therefore we can have the present age of men and the present age of wife and once we have these two values we can have the husband's age when the wife was born so the present age of men is equal to 6 times x 6 multiplied to 4 will give us 24 years and the present age of wife is equal to 5x 5 multiplied to 4 will give us 20 years now what will be the age of men when the wife was born wife was born 20 years back compared to the present age and therefore we can say that the age of men when the wife was born will be equal to 24 the present age of men minus 20 the present age of wife and from here we will have our answer as 4 years so in this way we have solved our problem number 4 and now we will move on to the homework problem for this lecture let's read the problem the ratio of the ages of a man and his wife is 4 is to 3 after 4 years the ratio will become 9 is to 7 if at the time of the marriage the ratio was 5 is to 3 then how many years ago were they married so this is the homework problem try to find out the answer and once you have it post it in comment section